Yo, 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 yo. What's good, man? It's your boy, man. I'm back. I'm back. Listen, man, it's been a super crazy busy day for me, man. I'm recording this video super late. Like, I really wanted to get to it a lot earlier, but I had way too much stuff going on earlier. So, I apologize. I wanted to get it out a lot earlier, but anyway, what's good? What's up to all my bull lifers, man? I hope y'all had a good day. Hope y'all had a productive day because we got some nice news to get into today. All right. Now, yesterday, there was a report that came out, and it, the source of the report was Vinny Goodwill. He's a Bulls beat writer, and essentially what he came out and said was the Bulls were said to have inquired about moving up to the three and four spot. Now, the Memphis Grizzlies hold the fourth spot and the Atlanta Hawks hold the third. And it's been said that they wanted to move up the, to those spots because they're interested in Michael Porter Jr. But get this, it has also come out that, and, and it came out fairly quickly as well, that uh, John Paxson actually refuted uh, that report saying that that's not true or whatever the case may be. But listen, with this time of year and all this you know what I'm saying? The draft coming up and all this is just a bunch of speculation. Everyone's speculating. But at the same time, I kind of trust Vinny Goodwill just because, like, listen, he's not even from Chicago. I don't see him having a reason to to lie. You know what I'm saying? And plus, like, he's on NBC, NBC Sports. He usually does uh, the post-game review with uh, Kendall Gill and, you know, those guys. So I don't think that Vinny Goodwill has a reason to lie. But you know how this stuff goes, man. The Vinnie Goodwill could have heard something through the grapevine from someone who works in the Bulls office or whatever the case may be. But as I said, it's all speculation. So it's whatever, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? But let's say that they are trying to move up to that three or four spot to pull MPJ. Now, how do you guys feel about it? How do you guys feel about them trying to, to move up? I think we already went over a couple trade scenarios, at least with Memphis. See, I, I'm, I'm really not even trying to get into it because the draft is tomorrow and I'm kind of tired of doing all of these all of these mock drafts and all of this speculation or what we could do with this and that and the other. Like, it's, I don't know, it's, it's driving me nuts even doing all of this hope and wish. But, as I said, the report was refuted by John Paxson, so we don't know, man. We, we'll see what happens tomorrow. If they do end up moving up to take Michael Porter Jr., as I said before, I know it's because his medical reports checked out, and they truly believe in this kid. He had a great workout with them, and, 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 and their doctors were the ones who actually uh, did his medicals first. They gave him his first physical, so that means that Michael Porter Jr.'s medicals checked out and everything is solid everything must be negative that's the only way i could see the bulls trying to move up and another thing michael porter jr finally had his pro day workout it was actually a personnel man from one of the western conference team who actually gave us a little bit of insight on how the pro day went for michael porter jr From what I remember, he was saying that Michael Porter Jr. actually had fluidity. He looked really good shooting off the dribble. He looked really good shooting floaters off the dribble. And plus, it, his spot-up jump shot was nice, saying that he knocked down most of them. So that's a great sign. But the one thing that he did say was that Michael Porter Jr. didn't have his explosiveness. He said that he still needs to regain that explosiveness. But he also went, up, went on to say that from what the doctors were saying, he would regain that explosiveness. With time, he can regain that explosiveness. So it's, it's sounding like it's pretty good for MPJ. I'm glad to hear this news that he actually did uh, uh, show up and show out because I said that before, when MPJ finally does have that pro day, he has to show out. So this is really great news. And um, this could be the reason that the Bulls are said to be wanting to move up into that three or four spot to grab MPJ. So 
it sounded like that story could be legit. That's all I gotta say about that one, so moving along. <clears throat> now, uh, today I was listening to a podcast. This podcast is uh, by The Athletic. Now, the two guys that were on the podcast today were uh, a guy named Stephen No, and the other was uh, Darnell Mayberry, I believe. Now, these two guys are Bulls writers for The Athletic, and they pretty much they pretty much know their stuff. Like they're really good. Y'all can go check them out at The Athletic. They they have a podcast, and and they're pretty nice. I like them. I listen to them whenever they do drop a podcast. Um, but what got me to thinking was something that they were talking about. So they were saying that they thought that it would be a good idea that it would be in the Bulls' best interest actually to move back. And the the perfect team that they felt like the Bulls should move back with would be the Clippers. They felt like they should make a trade, a swap with the Clippers for the uh, number 12 and 13 picks for our number seven. Now, they the reason I even care to bring this up is because they got me to thinking. They said the Bulls are at they're at the top of the bottom of the second tier players. Follow me, follow me, because it, it, it had tweaked me out for a second too, for at first. But they said they're at the top of the second tier players, meaning they are only top tier, meaning first tier players at the one through six picks. So anybody seven and 14 on back, they consider the second tier players. But if you ask me, that's not true. That's not true at all. I feel like the Bulls, Okay, I feel like top tier players are the players who are unique and they have great upside. If you ask me, there are seven players in this year's draft that have that uniqueness and that high upside, that superstar potential. Now, if we wanna go in no particular order, I'm just gonna list off the players that I feel like have that upside and that superstar potential. You have DeAndre Aiden, you have Marvin Bagley, you have Luka Doncic, you have Jaron Jackson Jr., uh, you have Mo Bamba, you have MPJ, and you have Trey Young. That's seven. So if you ask me, any of those seven dudes have high upside. All seven of them I can see being superstars. And if you ask me, I would be cool with any of them, any of them over the following players. Because then who, who they consider to be the second tier players were players like Wendell Carter Jr., Mikael Bridges, Miles Bridges, Kevin Knox, and so on. You know what I'm saying? But I put Trey Young in that realm of top tier players. I think he's a top tier player. His upside is through the roof. And don't get me wrong, he does have that, that boom or bust potential or whatever the case may be. But as we said before, y'all, I don't want to take a role player. The Bulls better not move back and take some role players. That's not no. We we can't we can't do that. We need to roll the dice on a superstar potential player, right? Like that that's what we in it for. That's the reason we tanked so hard last year, right? So like I would I, I would not be happy at all if the Bulls move back tomorrow. You know, they were talking about grabbing players like maybe a Kevin Knox and and maybe Miles Bridges or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't get me excited, man. It doesn't get me excited. It, it it just doesn't. And that's just me personally. I don't know about how y'all feel, but that's just me personally. Um, but anyway, that that's my take on that. So moving along, the last thing that I actually have to report on is uh, Lori Marketing. Yo, have y'all been seeing Lori, bro? Like. He, I just saw this recent picture of him on Bleacher Report. Looking jacked, bro. Jo bro was jacked, like, like ripped like crazy. And the only reason that I think that this is important to talk about is what do we pretty much want Lori to pan out to be? A center, right? Like, I think that if Lori could become a center or like, you know, basically be a tweener. If we grab somebody like him, Obama, obviously I would rather him be at center, right? But I still think that it helps if Lori can get stronger, you know, because then obviously he can 
play some center minutes. You know what I'm saying? It, it only helps him either way. But I love that Laurie is showing his dedication and that he's actually putting in the work because he does look bigger than he did coming in, you know, his, from his, his rookie season. You know what I'm saying? So he's just showing that he has that wherewithal to be great. He's showing that he wants to be great and he's actually working on his weaknesses. So I love it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so glad that our players are doing what they're supposed to do. It looks like they're taking care of business. It looks like Lori is doing his thing. So, man, big ups to you, bro. Keep doing your thing. Anyway, yo, the draft is tomorrow. <sighs> Whoo! I'm, I'm so ready, y'all. Like, I, I don't even know what to do. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm super ready. Um, we gonna see what it do, man. We definitely gonna see what it do. So. Man, y'all hold on to your hats, man, cause it's <sighs> who y'all think we gonna take? Who y'all think we gonna take? Y'all, y'all leave leave it in the comments. Leave it down in the comments below. Like, and be realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like, if 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 like if the Bulls move up or something like that, cool. But if they do, who y'all think they take if they move up? Do you think that it, the, the report is true that they're trying to move up to take MPJ? Or who do you think that they would take at the 7 and 22 picks? Let me know. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, I'm about to sign out. That's my time. Man, I know that the video came late, but I got y'all. I got y'all. I hope y'all ain't think that I was just going to let that slide. You know what I'm saying? I was just going to leave y'all hanging. Nah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's been real. It's been love. It's your man, Wise Black. Like, subscribe. Y'all know the